What's up guys, good morning, another amazing day. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday so far. Today we're gonna to be talking about Molin stock. We're gonna be going over proposal number one, more information on exactly what happened. Proposal number two, the good, the bad, the ugly or what's going to happen. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about the charts, what I see happening with Mullen stock moving forward. And honestly, my overall opinion on Mullen stock with everything going on. We also have some news about a petition that's going around. So I'm going to be sharing some Twitter news with you. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to like this video. Truly appreciate you. If we could get this over 250 likes, you would be my best friend. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. We make Molin content every single day. And let's get right into it. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. And it's 3 a.m. on this beautiful Saturday morning. This has been going around and a lot of people are saying this is why we had the pop yesterday. Molin stock new petition calls for Molin to fight short sellers like Genius Group. Now we're gonna dive a little deep into this, but I think this is a very positive thing. And we have some big news that apparently David also replied to this. So stay tuned for that. Genius Group has formed an illegal trading task force and now Molin Automotive shareholders are asking for the same. Shareholders have created a petition with more than 2,300 signatures. I'm pretty sure we're over 4,000 signatures now. So really big deal. Now check this out. Yesterday, Genius Group announced that it had formed an illegal trading task force to investigate market manipulation and naked short selling. Obviously, we've been dealing with this with Mullen for months now. The team will lead by former FBI Deputy Director Timothy Murphy, who is also a director of Genius. Following the news, shares of GNS stock skyrocketed higher by over 250% in the past five trading days. Now stay tuned, I'm gonna get into this information with Molin stock and what could potentially happen for this company. GNS stock has returned about 500%. So let's talk about Molin now. Now this is just the beginning for Molin, so we're just getting started, we're getting this petition going, but also David might be a huge asset to this right now. And if this happens, you can expect the same thing to happen for Molin stock. And it kind of looks like it goes the same with the charts, which we'll get into. Now this was posted on Twitter and we have some more people that confirmed that this actually happened. Uh, please investigate naked shorting of Mullen. This was from Terry Morris. Hi, can you please investigate illegal na naked shorting of Mullen stock? It is very bad. David, the CEO of Mullen company said, hi, we are taking a serious look into this. Thanks. So some people are saying this is not David. This is a fake email. There's no way he would be replying to an email like this. But let's look a little deeper into it. There are more people on Twitter posting things that they confirmed this information. But Sarah at relentless underscore eight said Dan Sanchez from public relations confirmed that David signed the petition and donated $1,000 to promote it. That's a huge deal, guys. Hopefully they're looking into next steps to protect Molin and its shareholders. So this has me very bullish on Molin stock now. If we saw what happened before to other companies, if we really do pursue what is going on with Naked Shorting and Molin Company, it's game on. We also have Chad Host on Twitter. He said, I am serious about this investment and believe in the company. I've never seen anything like it. They're destined for greatness hold for gold long and strong. And he matched David's donation of a thousand bucks. So that's awesome. Wanted to give you a shout out. Great job. Coffee. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments if you think this is a bullish thing for Mullen. Now we're gonna get into the charts now. And I wanna tell you exactly why I think this is the perfect timing. With where the charts are today, with this news, everything is aligning and it's looking pretty solid to me. All right, check this out, guys. So we got the daily time frame up, okay? So I'm gonna pull it up over here so I can look at it while I'm talking to you guys, but I want you to look at the stochastic first. So we can see that we are coming down, right? But the blue line is starting to curl up. Every time it curls up and it crosses over red, that means we're in an uptrend now. So we are this close to making that happen. Another time that this happened, I want you to look right over there. I don't know if you can see it on the left-hand side. We dipped and then we had a small bump up. Same thing, the stochastic was coming down and then it curled up. So could we see a little run right now? Another positive thing is the RSI on the daily 
has completely curled up and we have a lot of room to go up, right? Because right now we are sitting at 48. We know that we've gone as high as 80. So there's a lot of room to grow on the RSI. Another thing that I'll share with you is there is a open gap sitting at around 34 cents. So that makes me very positive. We got an open gap. We have the RSI curling up. We have the stochastic starting to curl up. We got this petition going. That's four bullish things on why I believe Molin will have a, a bigger push up. Now, if you guys want to know exactly all the moves Molin's going to be making and my buy and sells, check out the links down below. We have the Patreon group. It's $7 a month. If you see no value, feel free to cancel. All right, now it's time to talk about the reverse stock split and also what's happened on January 25th because we want to watch these dates very closely. And January 25th, I believe is on like Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. So we don't have a lot of time. Now, March 6th is a very important date as that is the deadline for shares of Molin stock to trade at or above $1 for 10 consecutive days in order to satisfy NASDAQ guidelines. NASDAQ may provide the company with a 180 day calendar extension if Mullen fails to meet this requirement. So that's good news. We have till March 16th. We really have six months after March. So we do have a lot of time, but this is where it gets tricky. We'll get into it. The information highlighted in the first paragraph will only go into effect if Mullen does not file a reverse stock split amendment before May 1st, unless it does so in order to remain a member of the Russell 2000. Members of the Russell 2000 must have a minimum price of $1. Now this is where it gets tricky. Meanwhile, the meeting was adjourned to January 25th. Why did they push this meeting back? Like really think about it. You look at the charts, you see the dip that we had. We went all the way down to about 25 cents. Why did they push this meeting back? Interesting, huh? Anyways, it's on January 25th, solely in respect to proposal number two, which is a huge deal, seeks to increase the number of authorized common stock to 5 billion from 1.75 billion. Mullen cited needing more time for stockholders to consider and vote for the proposal. Proposal number two also carries a relationship. Now, this is the important part. With proposal number one, if shareholders vote against proposal number two, then Mullen's board will receive the power to do a reverse stock split at any time before or on December 1st, 2023. So are we about to see a run in Molin stock before January 25th? What happens that day is very important. If the vote is no, okay, then I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. So I am hoping that the vote is yes. Yes, after that, we know dilution will be happening. The company needs cash. If you want the company to be successful, they need cash. How else are they gonna do it? So really, they need cash, right? So that's why proposal number two will probably get approved, in my opinion, but also I think David wants to fight. I think this petition is big news. I think David wants to give back to us and show us that we can get close to a dollar or over a dollar before March, okay? Maybe they'll start diluting on the way up to a dollar, but overall, we need proposal two to pass because this means that the reverse stock split won't be happening right away. Okay, if it doesn't pass, they can do the reverse stock split like as soon as possible. And we don't want that because then what usually happens, more shorting, people are like, why is this company reverse stock splitting? Are they not successful? Is this even a solid company? A lot of people will be selling their bags and it's not gonna be a good thing. So hopefully this was helpful. Of course, none of this is financial advice. Have a great weekend. Good luck next week. And we'll see you on the next one.